I am 33 years old and have low levels of uh, LH 0.1 and FSH 0.2, been on TRT for one year. Will starting ACG alongside help me become fertile again? Okay, this gives me an opportunity to share my fertility protocol. So, one, um, LH and FSH will 99.9% .9 of the time be zero on TRT. If it's not, your testosterone's bunk or you're doing something wrong. Um, a couple of guys I've seen have had detectable LH and FSH in the ones and twos, but they've been anomalies. It's, it should be zero on, on TRT because what happens is your body basically detects that you've got an abundance of testosterone present. This creates a negative feedback loop up to the hypothalamus and therefore your body goes, okay, we don't need to make any more because then we would be overproducing hormones and we would be falling out of this homeostatic balance that the body regulates itself in. So that's all good. Now, when it comes to fertility, firstly, not everyone on TRT monotherapy becomes infertile. So for example, I've been on TRT for like seven, eight years now. I don't use HCG. I am very fertile. I have no issues with fertility. My fertility results are great. Many guys are the same. If TRT was a contraceptive, we would have far less bodybuilders as fathers, and we would also be probably using it as a contraceptive. Um, I have the joke of, you know, what do you call the bodybuilder who thought TRT was a contraceptive? And the answer to that is dad. Um, so it doesn't give you a free pass. Even using large doses of testosterone or, or anabolic steroids don't give you a free pass. So firstly, you may not be infertile. So for anyone who is on TRT and they're worried about their fertility, First things first, before you jump on Google, before you start taking ancillaries, go get a fertility test and see where you're at, because you may not even have a problem in the first place. If you do have a problem and you are infertile, then you've got some options. So previously in Australia, and I can only speak from Australia because this is where I primarily practice, is we would use HCG in higher doses because HCG will primarily work on the luteinizing hormone receptor, but it will spill over into the FSH receptor in small amounts, enough to stimulate spermatogenesis. So the problem is that high doses of HCG aren't that well tolerated by the larger cohort of men. So what I prefer to do is look at, again, going back to how much testosterone do we need to fulfill the requirements of the luteinizing hormone receptor in activating the testicle? Maximum dose that we need is 250 units a day. So I like to look at 100 to 250 units a day, depending on how well the individual tolerates it. And then I like to add in FSH, which is bioidentical FSH. So what this guy has got suppressed on his blood work we are adding in the bioidentical version of FSH, just like we're adding in bioidentical testosterone. So I recommend a protocol of 50 to 150 units three times a week. And then if people are going, well, that's the, the top amount is triple the bottom amount. That's a big discre uh, discrepancy. It's because FSH is expensive for most people. So I have found that 50 IU three times a week has been the minimal effective dose to produce not only a viable sperm sample, but successful pregnancies. Um, but some guys have needed a bit more. It's just going to be triple the cost and it's not the cheapest medication. So depending on your budget, start with you know 100 to 200 IUs of HCG per day with 50 to 150 IUs of FSH per week. And then give that eight to 12 weeks, produce a, a sperm test if you haven't had a successful pregnancy, and then see where you're at. If you were previously infertile before going on TRT, you are going to have much lower chances of being fertile using a protocol like this, because you, know, you might have hardware issues, you might have primary issues in making you infertile. But if you were previously fertile, this protocol works very, very well. Um, I also know you can use HMG instead of FSH. However, I prefer FSH because it's bioidentical to men. Um, and I couldn't comment on the HMG dose because I don't have any experience with it. But that would be what I would be recommending for fertility. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, 
early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop use the join button next to the subscribe, on mobile use the join link in the description.